I was talking to my guy Wall Street Trapper, and he was just saying like our neighborhood create this this false or this dumbass standard that we have to live up to, and then once we live up to a dumbass standard, what it does is it salutes the standard that shouldn't even be a standard, right? Like let's say like trapping, getting money, guns, getting right. That was a standard that our neighborhood created, and once we get it, it kind of like salutes that. Like yeah, 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 you get more money from it, you get more from it. And it's like, that shouldn't even be the standard, right? And like, it's funny because I was listening to the story and I thought, I'm like, even you might feel sorry for the influence, but you really ain't had no choice because coming up, you jumped off the porch young as like you, Like you was in the trenches young as hell. And I was going to talk about the, 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 the dude, you did, the little kid that you did the song with. And I'm like, that's really all I know. And that's why I, I did it. Like, you know what's so crazy? Even people, like, I received so much backlash from that situation right there. And it was like, I done came out, and I done explained myself a little bit for real. Like, I'll get on my story, and I done said a little shit. But at the end of the day, man, real got to understand, like, if you if you don't come from where we come from, you're not going to understand. Mm -hmm. Just like none of this that we doing, y'all really ever understand if y'all don't come from it. Y'all don't understand nothing we even talking about for real, for real. But y'all like it, and y'all think it's cute. But... What's so 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 now when this really get put in your face and y'all really seeing our reality, it's fing y'all up. It's hurting y'all feelings, huh? Mm -hmm. Y'all like, oh my God, why are you doing that with that baby? It's our real life. Mm -hmm. This is what we've been going through forever. Oh, now y'all heard about it. Oh, now it's hurting your feelings. Now it's sad. That little that's his real life. He really from the trenches, and that little is a real life, bad little kid. Like he really. A product of his environment. Hmm. You can't be mad at him for being with the... That's all he know. And it's like, why you got him rapping about this? Because he can't rap about his ABCs because he ain't going to blow up and get rich off that. He just signed a deal. That little nigga just got a deal. And, and that's, that's the conversation. It is crazy because... He finna get some money to get the fuck out the hood. Now he don't gotta be around that. Now he can he can lead that. But if he do what y'all telling him to do, uh, he probably won't never leave. Because I know motherfuckers who didn't went to school and did everything they was supposed to do and still live in the hood. Mm -hmm. Grown as ain't left. How you telling him not to do this? You telling him not to be successful? Don't say this all because you listen to anybody else doing it. It's just shocking to you because he a kid. I get it. I understand. Kids is is a touchy subject. And that's why I did it. I knew what was finna happen before I even did it. I knew they was finna get down my neck. I just didn't give a f because I know how I feel about it. And I know how I feel is right. In my mind. And I'm standing on that. And I think, you know, it's funny, and that's the conversation I'm trying to have, because it's, it's just I understand. I truly do. And like we we want to go through life and like live in this. This is like good society and do what's right. But like you said, part of it, like, bro, doing it's hard. Cause I'm trying to use my platform right, but I'm just being real. Cause I come from the trenches too. I like can't make this shit up. A lot of times the that's doing right don't got shit to show for it. Like we talk about schools and school is important. And and I don't even be wanting to put them out there like that because I don't never wanna to because I know I got influence. And I don't want people who actually is doing the right thing and going to school and doing what they supposed to be doing to think that that's not what they should be doing. So I don't even be trying to come out there and say shit like that. But in reality, let's be factual. Like I just said, them still you they not taking care of their whole families. They not changing nobody life. How the fuck do you change somebody's life and you still living the same way, if not worse? Yeah, that's why I ask, because, like, I get it. Like, you doing a feature, niggas don't understand. Like, of course, you can judge on the internet, right? But, bro, this nigga just had, probably had... That shit helped one that little This probably had one him. of his idols do a... Are you stupid? Like, that are you dumb? Him. That shit helped him. That shit helped him. Because, you want me to tell you what helped him? Motherfuckers was looking at him going up, and they was fucking with him. But nigga was scared to touch that shit. Mm -hmm. A couple niggas wasn't, because I, I ain't gonna lie. A couple motherfuckers did remix the song and, and do it, too. But like certain mother, like 
one never touched that shit or wouldn't have been like, oh, only certain motherfuckers would. But I feel like somebody got to do it because I see where he going. I see what he trying to do. I was young. I was cussing and rapping and doing this shit. I was rapping about guns when I was a little kid. We was rapping about all type of shit that we didn't have. We Man, when a nigga was eight years old or seven years old, I'm rapping about cars. I can't even drive. I don't got no chain. I don't got none of this. So hell yeah. So that little nigga not out here shooting people. So let's hope he blow up and get this shit going for him before he really gets to the age because he almost about to be there pretty soon and it really start happening. But my heart goes out to let's go back, right? And this is the whole point, driving it home. How do we decipher the two, bro? Like, because again, you jumped off the porch early, not because I, I wouldn't say you wanted to. You ain't you ain't have nothing else better to do than your, your environment created a fucked up standard that showed you See. this is what's lit. You jumped off the porch, hold up, right? You jumped off the porch, you was doing what you was doing, right? And granted, I'm not judging you for it, because we all had both had those circumstances, right? But I, like I'm trying to 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 walk the thin line of like what's right and our circumstances. What I mean by that is, okay, cool. You jumped off the porch. You did what you had to do. You became a household name. And we could sit, we just sit here and say how, but you could have been an influence to someone else who didn't know how to move, how you moved, and it ended and it cost him his life. We we said you could have been an influence. I'm not saying you, I'm not about to blame that on. We're not about to do that. But I'm just saying hypothetically, right? If this is, if this can be the worst case scenario from our actions, from our influence. Is it worth it? That's the question. Is it worth it? Is it is it worth him? He might not do. He might be have the good guidance not to do it, right? But he's still promoting something, and another young could probably do the same situation. Put it put that's that's it's not his fault. Of course not. And it and it's not gonna be his fault because even if he don't do it, it's it's a rapper that they like more than him. That's more influential to him to them than he is. Mm. So if he ain't doing the next, gonna do it. This it's true. like ain't no way around it. Ain't no way around this. Shit. Ain't no way. See, see, and another thing, nigga. When I jumped off the porch, I'm gonna tell you why. You know, this is why I jumped off the porch, right? Because where I grew up, my I don't have no siblings. I got I got a couple brothers. I just met them, like not too long ago, and they from the whole other side of the world. You know what I'm saying? So I just met them in real life when I was a rapper on tour, and I went to their city. You understand what I'm saying? So it was just me and my mama. And she didn't really like, she was doing what she could, what she could type shit. And it was like, it was the best it could be. But I didn't really like, I didn't have a lot. I wasn't like a spoiled kid. When I was growing up, I used to have to get my cousin clothes. He used to come to me with a, a, a garbage bag full of clothes. Like, I used to love when he couldn't fit his clothes no more. His mama, she used to... Couldn't wait to give me his bag of clothes. I used to always have like that. I never had. I didn't get a, a real pair of Jordans until I got rich. Mm. Literally, though, like, for real. I swear to God, I just seen Benny say that shit the other day. And I'm like, man, that's crazy because I really didn't. I never got a, a, a pair of Jordans, like a pair of two, three hundred dollar shoes. I never had that. I never had that. I come from going to school and getting one or two pair of shoes a year. A year. Facts. You know what I'm saying? You got to make this shit work. Facts. Even when I was going to school, I could, I was so happy when I finally started being able to get Aeropostale and American Eagle and shit like that. That shit used to make me happy. And what? that ain't shit when you really think about it. I, swear I didn't I, have polo. I didn't have none of that shit. I remember I'm when I was you. able to get Aeropostale, this shit, it was too late because niggas to get Air Amer American Eagle. Because you know, American <laughs> Eagle <laughs> was, was more than Aeropostale. I'm like, uh -huh. God, Aeropostale damn. Aeropostale was the cheapest version. Yeah. I was like, damn, give me a break. I, I feel you, nigga. I ain't, I understand. So. So. French toast, man. The the uniforms. Come on, man. Talk, don't play with me. I'm here with you. I know but, what the fuck is up. But so it be like that. Like the older a nigga start getting, it be like, man, this shit. Mm. Hell no. That. That. And it just be like, man, damn. And be like, once you jump off the port, you just get to spiral out of control. And then it just got, it just get worse and worse and worse and worse. And it's like a snowball effect. 